it is possible to cut the risk of breast cancer. Leading health researcher Dr. Paul Clayton explains. Uh, well, indeed, breast cancer, like all of the other cancers, including, of course, the tobacco-related cancers, the incidence has increased dramatically over the last century, and indeed over the last half century. And according to the WHO projections, uh, in rise with the increase in obesity, uh, which is a risk factor in itself, uh, these problems are going to continue to increase. Does lifestyle and uh, nutrition play a role? Well, it undoubtedly does, uh, with regard to lifestyle, uh, you know, the age at which you have the first pregnancy, first childbirth, whether you're breastfeeding or not. I mean, all of these factors are known to play a role. Uh, again, there's a handful of genes unknown which, are, which denote risk. But uh, for those of us who don't necessarily have particularly high-risk genes, but are nonetheless at risk because as a population, living in the 21st century, living in an unhealthy lifestyle that we are, what do we do? Well, um, again, there's a number of uh, nutrients that have been uh, picked out from the herd which are associated with um, reduction of risk of breast cancer, and lycopene is one, and there's a handful of others, possibly the eyes of flavones, but again, it doesn't make much sense to me to rely on uh, these alone. Um, the creation of an environment in the body which is hostile to cancer, which reduces the risk of a cancer starting and then slows it or stabilizes it even. But in addition to that, uh, you know, given our low energy lifestyles, I would say comprehensive micro and phytonutritional support. It's really the only sensible way to go. A diet that is hostile to cancer. That's what Dr. Clayton said. But what is such a diet? Well, first we need to understand that what is called chronic subclinical inflammation is now seen as the underlying cause of age-related disease, including sun cancers and the spread of cancer. Scientific American, for example, says that inflammation is an underlying contributor to virtually every chronic disease, arthritis, Crohn's disease, diabetes and depression, along with major killers such as heart disease and stroke. And now the connection between inflammation and cancer is center stage. University of California confirms low grade inflammation, that is continuous but subclinical inflammation, is associated with everything from heart disease and diabetes to Alzheimer's and arthritis. It may even be the cause of most chronic diseases. And Dr. Clayton has said, if chronic inflammation is allowed to run unchecked, tissues become dysfunctional and then fail. And that, of course, is essentially a definition of cancer. And he goes on to say, and if you are 50 and over, you will have accumulated damage from this type of inflammation. To summarize, if this type of chronic subclinical inflammation, chronic meaning long term, subclinical meaning below the level of detection, if this isn't reduced, it can lead to cancers, heart disease, stroke, dementia, diabetes, sexual dysfunction, osteoporosis, and skin aging, because your appearance on the outside is a reflection of your health inside. So to help reduce chronic subclinical inflammation, you need high levels of anti-inflammatory nutrients in your diet and indeed in any effective supplement. But a supplement is just that. It's a supplement to a diet that should be basically healthy. And that diet should include high levels of anti-inflammatory nutrients. And that's why Dr. Clayton has created a cookbook which is free, showing how to include high levels of anti-inflammatory nutrients in your cooking, in your diet, and how to reduce pro-inflammatory cooking methods. Dr. Clayton has also designed a supplement which combines lycopene with other carotenoids like lutein and zeaxanthin and soy isoflavones. Now, all of those nutrients have been researched for their role as anti-cancer ingredients. 
The supplement also includes flavonoids from green tea, curcumin and grapeseed extract. These are powerful anti-inflammatories and the supplement also includes omega-3 and optimum levels of vitamins and minerals and indeed more. It's a high anti-inflammatory formula which combines lessons from the latest medical research with Dr. Clayton's 30-year research which analyzed those nutrients in the diets of the healthiest and longest lived societies. By the way, I think one thing I would add to any cancer regime would be um, very specifically the beta-glucans which enhance the effectiveness of natural killer cells and um, possibly tumoricidal granulocytes. These are two of your immune defenses against cancer. Now the term 1,3,1,6 beta-glucans is probably not familiar to you, but essentially 1,3,1,6 beta-glucans are what's called biological response modifiers because of their ability to activate the immune system. And a recent important study reported in the European Journal of Nutrition confirmed that 1,3,1,6 beta-glucan helps prevent colds, improve symptoms and importantly, increases the body's potential to defend against invading pathogens. Now when we're looking at 1,3,1,6 beta-glucan's potential role in helping reduce the risk of cancer, it's important to know that cancer cells actually develop fairly frequently in the body, but almost all the time your immune system is strong enough to overcome them. So although 1,3,1,6 beta-glucan's certainly cannot cure cancer or treat cancer. They do, we believe, have a role in boosting the strength of your immune system at any time of threat. And this short clip explains how they work. Once swallowed, Wellmune WGP is taken up into the body through specialized immune tissue in the small intestines. There, immune cells engulf Wellmune WGP and degrade it into smaller fragments that bind to neutrophils, which are the most abundant immune cell in the body. In fact, neutrophils account for 60 to 70 percent of all white blood cells. Primed with Wellmune WGP, neutrophils more effectively circulate throughout the body and kill foreign challenges. Immunishield is an immune supplement which contains Wellmune WGP, which is certainly the most clinically tested form of 1,3,1,6 beta glucans. In fact, something like $300 million worth of research is behind it. Effectively what it does is increase the number and activity level of neutrophils, which are the immune system's frontline killer cells. And those clinical trials even show it's safe for family use. You can see more about Immunishield at Immunishield.com and you can see more about Nutrishield at Nutrishield.com.